Hi, this is Chris Gould with Geeks on Tour. Do you take photos with, with your iPhone? Do you wish maybe that you took just a little bit better photos? I'm going to show you how easy it is using Google Photos with just a couple of clicks to make any picture look a little bit better. There are quite a few editing tools in Google Photos, but this is just going to show you the basics. How to auto enhance or brighten most any photo. How to crop and rotate. How to use a feature called pop. Brighten just the shadows. And vignette, one of my favorites. I'm going to explain the rows of buttons and explain save versus save a copy. And last, I'll show you how to revert if you ever want to undo the edits that you've made. This is an iPhone, a 14 Pro, but it doesn't matter. Any iPhone using Google Photos will work the same way. iPad also. So it is Google Photos, not the Apple Photos that I'm going to be showing you. Open Google Photos and here is a picture that's way too dark. The edit button is this one in the middle. You tap edit and then enhance is their way of saying auto. So you just tap that and you have a very enhanced picture. I tap the enhance, it turns blue. I just tap it again, it undoes itself. And then there are two other options, warm, and cool. You might even like warm better than enhance. And notice bottom right hand corner here, I just save. And this photo has been shared that will now be edited. I could save a copy to make a whole other picture, but that gives me two pictures. I like just save. And the iPhone says, well, this is on the device. You need to give permission to modify that picture on the device. Next picture. This needs to be straightened or rotated. You tap the edit and that is crop. Notice that there is a horizontal bar here. It starts with suggestions, then crop, tools, adjust, and filters. And each one of those options has another row of options for it. Under crop, all you have to do is put your finger where the zero is and drag this slider and notice the grid that comes up. I can line the horizon up with the grid and now that picture is straight. I will save it. Now it gives me an option to save or save as copy. I just want to save it. This picture needs a crop. That is our RV through the windshield of the people behind us. I have to tap it to bring the buttons up and then tap edit. This also, just like the last photo, I want to go into crop. But this time it doesn't need to be straightened. It just needs to be cropped. Notice the four dots on either end. I just drag. I can drag from the corner or I can drag just up and down. Notice if I drag up and down, I can make it get real skinny. What if I didn't want that to happen accidentally? You tap this little button right here and it will give you the options of what aspect ratio. So I like it to be 16.9. That fills my phone screen. And now I cannot make it skinny. It will adjust and remain a perfect ratio of 16 by 9. Once the frame is how I want it, I can move the picture around within the frame as well. When I'm done with the crop tool, you tap the check mark. And that's all I'm going to do to this picture. Save and save. This picture needs several changes. Let me tap on the edit. First, I want to crop and rotate. I'll rotate first. Then I'll crop to I don't need as much road and I want the mountain in the third. Now, I think it should just look a little bit more colorful. Under adjustments and then the top row, Look at all of those. All the way over toward the right, there's something called pop. And then you have a slider 
to put more or less pop. Can you see what it's doing? It is just making it more colorful and more clear. It's making it pop. I like it. I tap done. I can also add a vignette. That just means darken the edges, kind of give it a frame. I like that. And long press to see your original. So you can tell whether or not you like what you've done. I do. I tap done and save and save. Now here's one that definitely needs to be lightened, but not all of the picture. Just where the people are. There's so much in the shadows. Watch this. Tap edit. And it's under adjustments. Remember, there's a whole lot of adjustments. The first bunch is about brightness. And here we have one called shadows. That means just give me more light. As you increase the number, you get more light in the shadows. Now I can see them. I'm done with that. I think I will also give it a little bit of pop. And I can long press and see the original photo. There's the much better photo and I save. Now, if for some reason I want to go back to my original with this one, I would go back into edit and notice the revert down here. When I click revert, then it's back to the original photo and I can save that. You'll never have to post a crooked, dull picture again.